Hi, I'm Ariane with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are both of you? Great. How are you? Great. Good. Both Farron and Kelly seem to be on a different path than last season. Farron finding life outside of dance and Kelly within the church. Why do you think they needed these outlets more so than the other girls to have like something new in their lives? I think every character had their own outlet, yeah. if I remember correctly. But I do, I, I think you're right to say that they really just threw themselves into it, you know? Yeah. At first, I think for Farron, obviously, she needed to find a new identity. And the only way she knew how to find an identity is latching on to some sort of sport or some sort of physical activity. So she chose boxing. She chose weightlifting. She chose lifeguarding. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's how she works through things anyways. Yeah, I think Kelly has lost half of her family and is just in desperate need of a sense of community. And that's what the church is offering to her. She sort of distanced herself from the girls because she's forced to do the rest of school online. And so she's a lonely little girl and the church is there. There's a lot of people who don't know her well, don't know Karen, aren't associating her with all the things we know she went through through season one. And so I think there's something nice about getting to have this sense of community with people that don't really know about all of her past traumas, like a fresh slate. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first time I've said that. I, yeah, I, like, that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah. How would you say that Farron and Kelly's relationship is like this season? Because last season, it was a lot going on. <laughs> yes. A lot going on. A lot going on. Well, so. we certainly begin with less tension. There's a lot of affection between the two girls. And um, I think Kelly's really grateful to Farron for what happened in, what was it, episode nine? You know, Farron, Farron really came through for her despite all of the uh, trouble they had in the past and mm -hmm. supported her in a time when she was hurting and she really needed somebody. And so that's certainly where we start. Yes. Um, but yeah. the tension, you know, I think Farron and Kelly will always have a back and forth. I think we'll always have a little, I love you. I hate you. I hate to love yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's their journey, but I also think now this season, Farron knows what she's getting with Kelly. <laughs> I think she wrote her off first season a lot. Yeah. And then, you know, they became close. So now she's like, okay, you're figuring it out and you're being messy and I'm being messy, but you're... It, it, you're being messy to me. Yeah. <laughs> We've got history We've now. Got so history. she knows she can peel back the onion to get yeah. to the the middle of the it. what? Yeah, the middle of the onion. <laughs> the Jolly Rancher is out of the onion. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of relationships, um, your characters feel like they're in a very different place with their boyfriends. Yeah. Do you think it's the nature of just outgrowing someone in your teenage years? Do you think it is because they went through so much? Like, how could you be with the same people that you were then? Why do you think there's kind of trouble in paradise for both of them? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think Farron's journey with Henry is she associates him so much with the pain that she had dancing and she needs to not only distance herself from dancing but consequently distance herself from who he believes her to be and I think that is really important for her because it allows her to break out of her shell and learn new things about herself and maybe have different flirtation with other people <laughs> I wonder who I wonder who perfect that segue is. um I think I think Greg and Kelly's relationship has always been, you know, a little weird seeing as he dated my sister before. Um, but at the same time, that does bond them because Karen was Kelly's best friend. Um, most people hated Karen. And, you know, Greg is someone else who had a close relationship with her. So I think that keeps them together. And then also Kelly's just she has nobody um at the beginning of season one and that's partly her fault but I think Greg is the only person in her life other than her mom um but that's a whole different thing it's the only person her age who she has a close bond with and so I think she is desperate to keep that together even if it means ignoring 
the red flag of, you know, threatening to cheat on her with Sandy. She's like, I'm she's going to ignore that because she needs to have this relationship and yeah, yeah we'll see how that unfolds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like we keep giving each other's knowings look because I've watched from episode five. You film this, but we really can't say that much. So, yeah. like, I, I get it. You get uh, it. You get it. You're on it. <laughs> Do you think you yourselves, not your characters, have what it takes to be a final girl? Do you think you could survive a horror movie or TV series? No. <laughs> it depends. I think yes, if it's also other people involved. Like, if it's you mal there or my Thank friends you. or my family i think i'd really hunker down but if it was just me by myself i might be like i i don't know yeah i'd need someone to protect me you yeah. know someone asked earlier what character we think could protect us the most from um did you say Farron? both allies and i at the same time said Farron. yeah Farron. <laughs> yeah i need i need awesome. protectors <laughs> final girl i don't know maybe yeah. third to final girl <laughs> i could make it i think i could be a final girl but we'll have you to could too yeah i think i i think i'd try my Muster best it up but we'll see what is it about Farron that you guys think it is her physical strength and i think she also she has a very good sense of self yeah, I think so. I think at least in season two, she's have having to renew that definition of sense of self. She's having to come into a different sense of self. But yeah, I think you're right. That is her cornerstone. And I also believe that she is, I've been saying take snow prisoners because that is really her. I think she would, <laughs> does be like, okay, well, come on, let's do yeah. that. You know, I There's think a that, that, fearlessness yeah. that I associate with. Baron, she's right. She would tackle the problem head on. Yeah, that's the kind of person you want to rally yeah. behind. And Kelly, I I feel like Kelly is who you want as your secret weapon. Yeah, because Kelly would. You know, that's the <laughs> season one, the dunking. She's right. She's like a good ace to have. Sneaky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking time to talk to me. I hope to talk to you about you this with you guys more and future projects. Love that. Thank you. Thank you.